It appears to me that most of the most important things in life revolve around hard work and family, discipline and family, hard work, discipline and family structure. Working your ass off at something, something that can have a big payoff, something that can help you in life, something that can put some money in your pocket. That's what's important. Family structure is important. But that seemed to get lost a lot of times along the way because you start looking at the shiny shit, the loud shit, the distraction shit, the feel good shit. The, 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 you know, it's like failing that marshmallow test. You'd rather have one marshmallow today than three marshmallows tomorrow. And then along the road, you've got a lot of people distracting you from keeping your eye on the prize. Because we know what's important. We know what's most valuable. We know what we should focus in on. And at the end of the day, it's about hard work and it's about discipline. It's about hard work and it's about family. It's about your core values. You see, when a black man is self-actualized, he's got a career for himself. He's got a path that he's carved out for himself. He's got a niche for himself. He's got a job for himself. He's making money for himself, but not just himself. Sometimes a man needs more than that because it's one thing to make a lot of money. I've been single. I made quite a bit of money while single. And I was actually kind of miserable because I didn't have a family at home, at least for me, because what am I going to do with all this money? Oh, just go wild, go buck wild, want to have sex with random women? Sure. Had a lot of fun. A lot of great memories. Made some good friends along the way. That's great. But it was nowhere near as rewarding as being married, having a wife and having children. Because then I got to take my resources and everything that I've earned. And I got to, I, instead of just looking at that on my, in my bank account, I actually got to spend it and nurture other people with what I produced. And that's really beautiful. It's like, it's a form of t tending to the garden of your mind, which is something that I like to talk about. It's like, you know, you're going to your yard and you've got a, you've got uh, some berries growing. You've got some flowers over here. You've got some fruit trees and they need water. You, you water your plants, you water what you're growing. And you know that you water them because they're going to sprout and they're going to grow fruit. And it's going to be more beautiful and the colors are going to be more amazing. So, you know, you put in fertilizer. That's like spending your resources on your family. You want to do it. You feel great about it. You can't wait to do it. So it makes you work harder. It makes you work harder because you're working harder for your family. You're working harder for your flesh and blood. You're working harder for your last name and not your first name. Shout out to Dame Dash. And shout out to you black men that are disciplined and hardworking. I hope you've learned the value of family. See, a lot of black men, they're more interested in the hyena than a lioness. And that's a real problem because the hyena, the strag, the rat, the hood rat, the ratchet, they're not interested in family. They're interested in sex and spending up your time and abusing you and stabbing you in the back and lying to you, cheating on you, wasting your time, spreading STD, giving you unwanted kids, calling the cops on you, disrespecting you in public, breaking your property, breaking your car windshields, going in your home, punching walls, breaking windows, breaking glasses, throwing PS5s. They got a PS5 yet. Throwing your, your PlayStations around. We know what they're about. But a lioness, what she wants, she wants to be loyal. She wants to help you hunt. She wants to raise your children as best she can alongside you. She wants to be a hunting partner with you. She wants to be loyal to you. She wants to have a marriage with you. Now the hyena, they're hard because they bring a lot of dysfunction. But a lioness is harder because she requires more out of you. See, a hyena really doesn't ask that much for you. And you got to be careful because a lot of... The reality is, is that a lot of black men in the manosphere put the conversation on hyenas instead of lionesses. And they get black men's minds more focused in on the women that they should stay the hell away from instead of the women that they should get with. Because lionesses, they, they're not, you know, they come in all shapes and colors and ethnicities, ethnicities, all types of women can be lionesses and all type of women can be hyenas. But black men have grown a taste for hyenas. And that's a problem. And they go, all I date is, all I date is one type of woman. And if I can't get that type of right type of woman, then I'm not going to deal with anyone at all. So a lot of times they, they like these hyena conversations because that's what they're usually around. And even though they don't necessarily want a hyena, they know that they're going to have to weed through that needle in the haystack to find one, to find a lioness. 
which is very rare in Eidos to find one. It's not easy, and even if you find one, she might not be compatible with you, which makes it extremely hard. And what I'm saying is that as a black man, it's 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 hard enough dealing with a hyena. But it's harder dealing with a lion ass because when with your when with your lion ass, you gotta have to you have to have resources. You're gonna have to have a nice sense of style generally. You're gonna have to be a pretty good speaker. You're gonna have to be a good leader, at least if not a leader of men, you're gonna have to be a leader of the family. You're gonna have to have a vision for yourself, and you're gonna have to have a vision of how this lioness fits into your vision, and and then you're gonna have to be able to articulate and and talk about that vision in a way that's clear and concise, in a way that she can digest and understand, so she's able to understand how she fits into your vision of her fitting into your vision and then yeah not only that you have to have certain social skills you have to have you know this leadership that i that i talk that i speak of you have to have a um, high moral character a high high moral fiber because she knows that if you're going to be the father of her children and if you're, you're going to lead her well she's going to think back maybe to the dad that she had and the dad that led her and the dad that help raise her as a child and if her if her father was strong and a good man and a good leader who was a, who was a great father well she's going to want those same qualities in you homeboy and so she's going to want you to have a high moral fiber so if you're too too busy out here chasing hyenas and you grow a taste for these these wild women out here that are no good for you and that are toxic and that you become skilled at dealing with those type of women well then there's an opportunity cost because then you start to lose the ability and even the taste for a lioness and instead you prefer the hyena and that's why we have a lot of black men that are in the manosphere that talk about sleeping with prostitutes that's why we got so many jonathans around this camp because they've grown a taste not for the regular wild hyena that you meet in the nightclub but they you know they like this uh this uh, craigslist hyena that's what they like so then what they do is they say, well, it's just easier to spend 40 bucks on a woman who's, you know, who, who's a working girl and cash her out. I can pay her to leave. Then I don't have to deal deal with her anymore. And all and that sounds pretty good on the surface. But actually what you're doing is maybe you're doing exactly what I did. You're learning to deal with the worst types of women because they're temporary and because they're a whole lot of fun. But the problem is, is there's an opportunity cost. You lose something along the way. Then what you're doing is you're paying to deal with the worst types of women instead of actually spending time with the right types of women that can actually have a large scale payoff at the end. Because even though a lioness takes more work and you have to have more and you have to bring more to the table to get her on your team and to form a partnership and a marriage and a loving relationship with a lioness, the payoff is a thousand times greater, 10,000 times greater than you could have with any one hyena. Better than a pack of hyenas. But when you don't spend time with lionesses and they don't interest you and they don't exist, there's no good women in America anymore. They don't exist. I used to be like fuck family. Well, structure. when you have that mindset and you only deal with the worst types of women and that's what you focus your mind on. But then I thought about then it. Then that's all you're going to get and then you never get that good payoff and then you become like these old. I thought about how these hyenas were shaking. Old men that say, oh, I, you know, you know, I don't, I don't even deal with Harley women no more. I just pay $40. That's it. I like working girls. It's just easier that way. Some are in their 30s. It's like, dude, that's not easy. Even in their 20s. That's not easier at all because you got to live with yourself in those long stretches of time when you're not sleeping with women and, you know, you don't have kids in the back room playing and your wife's not in the kitchen cooking you dinner. You're out, out here arguing with some strangers on YouTube instead of enjoying time with your family or really working on your purpose or doing something just bigger and better and better with your life. And I'm not saying if you, you know, if you buy prostitutes, it doesn't mean you can't be married or have a great relationship. And it doesn't mean that you, you can't, you know, have a successful career because, you know, and make lots of money because we know, certainly know that's not true. But what I'm saying is, though, as a black man, you got to be very careful of who you listen to and and why you listen to who you listen to and why you don't listen to who, who you don't listen to. Now, this can be very tricky. Because we normally want to associate with people that we identify with, that we have a commonality with, where we come from the same background, we have a similar history, we have the similar goals or a, or a shared vision. Maybe we're in the same career field. Maybe we come from the same tribe or we were raised in the same city together. We generally want our mentors, our friends, our loved ones, the people in our circle, the people that we learn from, our mentors, the people that we allow in, into our lives, the people that we get information from. We prefer those people who identify with us. 
and that can be very problematic and you have to be very careful in who you listen to because many people understand that and what they do is they set they sink their emotional hooks into you and they seem like they identify with you and they actually do identify with you but they're not here to be your friend they're not here to be your mentor they're not here to help you they're here to do other things like waste your time and spend your money and tell you things that aren't true like there's no good women left or tell you things that isn't true like you shouldn't get married and start a family what is true is hard work and a focus on family creates huge dividends when you use your mastermind to mastermind a master plan and then you work the shit out of your master plan you're gonna have a major payoff on boy and that's what i want you to do i want you to focus on something big in your life something that's so big it it scares you a little because you don't know if you can do it or not i want you to have a plan so big that if it pays off you're gonna be set forever and it gives you something to be proud about i hope that I, I hope and i pray that you're doing that right now as we speak and i'm confident that you are and that's why you're listening to this and at the same time i want you on your purpose i want you thinking big and i want you working hard at your plan and at the same time i want you focusing in on family you can get yourself a quality wife quality girlfriend quality partner and form a great marriage a loving amazing marriage and it doesn't have to be a marriage like your grandfather it doesn't have to be a marriage like your father's marriage no it doesn't have to be much in that same way the economy is starting to change and people's careers are starting to change i read an article it's in the wall street journal it said that three percent of all working americans in the month of august quit their job and pulled out of the workforce 3% of the entire, entire labor force quit in the month of August. Why? Because they saw different opportunities for themselves. They said, I'm tired of having a job that doesn't pay that well and that I'm not happy. There's just, there's just different ways to make money now. There's new economies that I can enter. There's new ways of getting educations, getting an education where I can make money. Whatever it is, it's something different and people are capitalizing on that. And in that very same way that people are pulling out uh, in the labor force and making changes in that way, we have the ability as black men to form marriages with lionesses and form different types of marriages that are very that are fulfilling, not for just for us, but also for our wives and that are fertile ground to raise children in where she's happy and I'm happy where she's happy and you're happy and you get your needs met. She gets her needs met. And you can talk about things and, and practice radical honesty. And you can do things together and have great experiences together. And you're not tied down by culture or ideologies or a belief system that don't fit you, that don't suit you, that don't help you in your life. You don't have to go to the village priest and ask for permission to get married and have him vet you. And, you know, when you have problems within your marriage, you have to go to the church and to the priest or to this body of men and talk about these problems or these decisions that they can be made. You don't have to do that anymore. You can form a marriage on your terms with you and your girlfriend with you and your fiance you and your wife can build something very special for yourself and very unique for yourselves that can make you happy 